Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 39 of What's the Pepper series. Today I have some beautiful pots to show you. These are my white tie crossed with my sriracha. I have been working on this for a whole year and uh, I rushed it um, by growing it in hydroponic then taking it outside and all that stuff. So. Um, they are just absolutely gorgeous and I'm very proud of this. So let's go take a look at the plant and then we'll come back. I'll cut this open, show you what's inside and then we'll have a taste at it. All right guys, here is the white tie cross with my sriracha. This is an absolutely gorgeous plant. Look at how large it is. It's very beautiful. It's very compact and wide. Uh, I think it's around three feet tall but it goes from here all the way over there and look at all these leaves, it's just so gorgeous. So this plant was uh, originally indoor in my hydro system and it has buds everywhere. So um, if you wanna see what it looks like, uh, I will link you to one of the update video and it's in, and it's in there. So um, it's been outside here for a few weeks now and uh, most of the buds drop, but they are starting to produce it again. But anyway, I have two fruits that are ready, so we're gonna pick that today. And uh, once I pick it, I'm gonna show you the two parent plants and then give you a comparison of the, the pods and how it looks and everything. So let's go ahead and pick some, some pods. Okay, so the pods are way down here. There it is right there, and there's one over there. It's very beautiful. So it it's... It starts out green and it remains green for a long time until it gets to this color. So let's go ahead and pick that real quick. Look at this gorgeous pod. They're just nice and shiny red. So I'll, I'll pick the other one as well. So there it is. This is a white tie crossed with the Staracha F2. Uh, this particular one is an F1. So let me go show you what the Staracha looks like. Here it is here. That is the Staracha. So here are the pods there. Absolutely gorgeous. So the color comes from that. And then the white tie. So you can see there is a little resemblance of the, uh, of the pods here. I'll pick this one here too so we can take it inside and compare. See there? And we'll pick the Starachi too so we can have a look. Alright guys, here is a closer up look at the pods. These are just so beautiful. They are exactly how I want it to look. Nice, good size, beautiful color, nice and firm and uh, I just love the way they look. They're not completely red, but more of a, a lighter red color. So they, they look like jello to me. Look at this, very, very nice and beautiful. Smooth skin, uh, a few uh, dents around the pods here and there, but absolutely gorgeous. So the original parent is a tie, the white tie, and here it is. The white tie, uh, it turns into all different kinds of colors. It starts out green, and then it'll have a shade of purple, then it'll turn orange, and then finally to a red color. So they are my favorite variety. I grow these every year and I just, I just love them. I eat them all the time, basically pretty much every day. So, um, the re so that is the reason why I crossed them because I love both of these varieties so much. So I wanted to see uh, what would come out of this. So here is the Staracha and uh, I've done a review for this already. Um, these things are super spicy. So I have two different varieties and from two different phenos. And this is actually the parent plant of, of, uh, of this. And uh, the parent tie is uh, one of the plant outside, but uh, the pods are, are here. So that is what they look like. So we'll cut open one of this here and see what it is inside. I might have waited a little bit too long to harvest this one. There is the inside here. A nice large placenta. Uh, there's some seeds in there. Uh, 
But uh, the wall is wow, look how juicy this is. Um, liquid is just like flowing out as, as soon as I cut it. And uh, good size placenta, it runs all up and down the pod. Uh, nice thick wall, which is, is uh, what I really like. Beautiful looking on the inside. So let me smell this real quick. Wow, it smells uh, a little hot, has a very pleasant smell, remind me of uh, a few of the ahi varieties. It has that sweet, nice smell. Uh, I can scent a little heat in there, but for the most part, it has a very pleasant, sweet smell. Okay, let's try it out. All right, guys, here is the white tie crossed with my sriracha. It's such a gorgeous pepper. So let's cut a piece and we'll try it. I haven't had this one before, so I'm going to be very careful by just having a little piece at the very top. So here's the white tie and then the sriracha. This is the cross of it, so let's give it a try. Wow, nice citrus flavor. A little hot, very sweet. So the initial bite, very crunchy and juicy and it has um, an immediate, sort of like a lime flavor. And then sweetness. The textures is very nice, it's not like the um, the Thai varieties where the skin is kind of tough. It's actually very nice and tender. Has a lot of heat. But not, not of course, it's not the Staracha hot. Wow, my chest is pretty warm right now. It smells like a very sweet bell pepper with uh, with a little heat in it. Now it's a, there's a the heat is is still building. It's not crazy amount of heat, but um has a good good amount of heat. And I I just had the very tip of the pepper, so. Uh, It's not as hot if, as if you eat the entire thing with all the placenta and stuff, so. Very good pepper. I'm definitely going to grow a bunch of these. Um, I, I cut out some of the seeds already before we tried it, so I'm going to grow those out. Uh, maybe this winter. Hopefully it produces the same type of fruits, uh, the next generation. Um, because, uh, I mean, I, I just love the way it looks. It's a very nice and plump um, texture and uh, has the nice crunchiness of the parent and then a little heat that comes from here. It's actually still pretty hot. So um, the heat is collecting at the, at the tongue and the top of the tongue. Not too much in the throat like uh, the rest of the super hots that I've tried recently. Wow. Yep, the heat is basically uh, subsided now, so um, yeah, overall it's a very good pepper. It's uh, nice and juicy, crunchy, very uh, tender texture, and then um, it has that bell sweetness, sweet, very, very sweet bell uh, scent. Uh, nice thick wall, so uh, it's one of those peppers that I really enjoyed. So, uh, and that lime flavor, I mean, that initial lime flavor made it very unique, uh, uh, you know, versus the rest of the pepper that I've tried so far. Reminds me of some of the ahi that I've tried in the past. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy the review and I will be growing a ton more of these uh, in the coming seasons and maybe some this winter uh, in my indoor grow room. Alright, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.